All right, everybody, scored some more tools. Let's uh, have a look and see what we got. All right, guys, we'll start with some of the easy stuff here. Uh, these things are really dusty. I uh, found these at an antique shop up in, uh, oh gosh, can't even remember the name of the town right now, but uh, these were in a bin, a whole bunch of assorted odds and ends that were all marked a dollar. I saw these and I go, man, those are a really nice big set of uh, dividers. Draw a big arc with that, right? And uh, sure enough, these are uh, these are Sterrets. So hey, when can you buy a Sterret tool for a dollar? I mean, those are... <laughs> Believe me, if you went to go buy one of these for a dollar now, it, it, they'd just laugh at you. Anyway, um, the other one here, uh, this was an eBay purchase. It's... Uh, Shop Theory by the Henry Ford Trade School. And I haven't done a whole lot of research on the Henry Ford Trade School, but apparently they were teaching, you know, people to be machinists. This here is uh, around 1942, I think, is uh, the copyright date on this one. Showing all kinds of stuff. Here's a magnetic chuck. Uh, there's a grinder. Crown sharp grinder, even, hey? Oh, this is all kinds of neat stuff in here. Uh, here's uh, showing... Um, spark tests, you know, so for different types of steel, what kind of sparks you would get off it if you had somebody just handed you a chunk of steel and you didn't know what it was. That's kind of a way you have some sort of a guess. Uh, here's doing milling machine work. Here's, yeah, it looks like they're milling a screw or I'm not sure what that is. Like a worm gear, maybe. Anyway, just all kinds of neat stuff in here. There's a lot of stuff on soldering or just basic stuff you know but a lot of really good photographs in here the big ring gear here anyway neat stuff so we got that i think it was maybe five or ten dollars that was pretty cheap and the other thing and i forgot to do this in the last video but uh if we look back here and maybe i'll bring it forwards better So, we went to Harbor Freight and picked up, I think this is just their cobalt steel, or no, it's not even cobalt, I think this is just high speed steel drill bits. Um, but they're numbered, set of numbered drills, set of letter drills, and a regular fractional set. And I know, these ain't very good drill bits, and I can tell already here, looking at some of them, that they're not ground very well. This one's even got a big flash on the edge of it bad right um but i've got a drill doctor and you know that thing works pretty good and i don't know if you guys subscribe to uh, suburban tools but they did some experiments even with cheap drill bits you know as long as you have a good point on it uh, i actually drilled a, a pretty decent accurate hole anyway so i picked this up for uh yeah, it's around like 30 bucks i think uh, the index box as far as i'm concerned is worth that as they wear out and break, then I'll buy, you know, I'll replace them with good ones. Okay, so this next thing, this is kind of neat stuff here. Uh, we've got all this here. There's that little star wheels, some chunks of different steel. That's just bar stock. There's another little casting. Here's a, a screw. And this little bar here, well, all this together, oh yeah, is that little plate too. Uh, this is actually uh, a kit to build a, uh, a boring and facing head. So I'm sure you all know what boring heads are, you know. Uh, you turn a screw and you can, you know, extend out your cut and make a really accurately bored hole. Um, but a facing cutter, this here is really the key part of this whole thing, but... As it's turning, there'll be a little thing that comes by and, and hits this, and each each time it comes around, it increments out. So you can actually say if you were going to clean up this face, you know, you could be cutting and it would it would face it all off for you. So that's kind of neat. I found this. This is a new old stock kit, untouched. Uh, it's made by the Model Engineering Service, and this thing comes from England. Um, some of this stuff calls for like uh, 
British, British Standard threads, so I don't have any of those kind of taps. I don't know what we're going to do. I suppose we can probably use conventional American screws for those sort of things. But uh, anyway, uh, it comes with the instructions. Here's the, uh, here's all the drawings that shows everything. Right there. So I thought this would be kind of something neat that you guys might want to see. Um, if anybody over there in England knows anything about this, this is a, uh, who makes this? It's door, I believe. It's a door boring and facing head. And this drawing was drawn in 1979. I was only like three when this thing was drawn. So it's been around for a while. And as I understand, this thing isn't even available anymore. So I was kind of thinking that maybe a guy might, you know, before we go start cutting it up, make some drawings of all these parts, maybe make some patterns. Here, I only need, I only see four patterns I would need to build. The rest of the stuff is all, uh, you know, standard dimensional material. And then, uh, you know, maybe we could make a few of these things. Anyway, if anybody knows how to get a hold of the people that own rights to this thing, if it's not already in the public domain, uh, let me know. Anyway. We'll be uh, putting up another video here. I still need to do the one for the uh, taper attachment for my Atlas lathe. Uh, I'll probably be filming that here in just a minute. Alright guys, we'll see you around. Alright guys, if you like that, why don't you hit the like button and uh, please subscribe. We'll have more stuff like this coming up every week.